Hi, I'm Brian and I'm the English and Science teacher. Today I'm going to present the project that was called Urban Garden. The project consists in students of upper basic growing plants in their houses. They use seeds like tomato, lentil and beans. The project was really important because they learned responsibility, respect for the life and the nature. Let's see their experience and I hope you like the video. Thank you. Hello, my name is Brisa Tobar and I have come to tell you you want a urban gardens are. Urban gardens are outdoor or indoor space for growing vegetables, greens, fruits, legumes, aromatic plants or medicinal herbs, amongst other varieties on a domestic scale. To make this garden, you need a several materials such as place where the plant can grow healthy, a pot, fertilized soil, and these seeds of whatever we want plant. But we must bear and in mind that each plant is its own need. You need, for example, Papaya needs extreme care since its roots are very, very flexible and also grows only with a it. For this reason, it is important now that what needs a plant has a if we can take care of it. But it's also important to know how to plant it. These are some examples. One. The tomato must be planted in a white four foot and it must we can do it is like silos to be able to plant it. After plating the tomato we water it a little. To plant beans we need from 30 to 40 seeds. Then we bury them in the fertilized soil and like tomatoes. And finally the beans to grow it we need about 30 to 40 seeds. Then we bury them in the fertilized soil and finally we water them a little. Thank you for your time. I'm Erica. I talked to you about current of plants. That is very important in the ground of plant season that give them the nutrients so that they can also grow watering your plant. It's very important since there are minerals but you cannot them water a lot since the roots can grow. Also change the soil from the time it becomes infertile. There are several characteristics the tree plants can with some are lentils, beans and tomatoes. The plant that with the lentils but the largest plant is the tomatoes. The fruit of the tomatoes is fleshy, very generally red and drawn, there are also yellow pink ones. Its steam is brown or yellow. The tomatoes is a plant can have up to 4 of its bunches. Of fruit, the tomatoes is a plant of the South America. It's a plant can live up to several years, even if the cultivated tomatoes is kept in the field for only one year. The beans have a drop top with several roots of the size. Each leaf grown alternately allows the stems. Each one has a tree allar lifted about 6 and 15 cm long, 3 and 11 cm wide. The su surface is green and purple, can each endure a smooth. Bentins is a typically narrow herbal annual and branched species. It's belong of the legumes family and has an intermittent ground habit. The plant usually reaches at 18 for 20 to 15 cm, depending on the variety, it can develop between 15 to 18 nodes. This is a, it is my plant. Thank you for your day. Finally, I want to share some conclusions of the project and your personal experience. I am so happy about this project because you learn important and interesting things are really easy, cheap and simple to do at home. We also learn about the process when we sell plants and different flower pots. We took care of them and we rehearsed it to grow process. The project also helped you learn how to get natural food without artificial substance. We can have food 
with your hands easily. We didn't have to go to the supermarket. The food will be, will be less expensive and nutritive. Experience. In my personal experience, I say that this project has been a good idea because I understand how plants grow and I realized that this project can be done every any place in the house. It's color brown. I recommend this project in your houses because you will enjoy it and it have a great experience. Also, I recommend to this with family. You need soil, seeds, water and positive attitude. Thank you for your attention.